all this is mubin sayed and we are in the cool beans cafe coffee tea or whatever you like at this time so the uh, today is the drawing class today is thursday and i wanted to share with you something that is exciting for me i know many of you are actually aware of it some of you like me may have become aware but not seen it in in work at work so i wanted to share with you how ai is generating images and artwork so first let me show you some artwork that is already generated then i'll show you artwork generation with the ai i'll actually generate our, we will all generate artwork together looking at this ai and the 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 work it is doing would also do some neurogenesis for us as well it, it will actually make some new brain cells for us and meeple art i hope it does not disappoint you and you are i'm, I'm sure that you're already aware of this let's start so let me first discuss so there are many ways that ai generates um art one of the ways is that it's it starts with noise so imagine if we are ai and we are tasked with drawing a cute dog so what we do is we throw some splatters some pixels some color on a sheet of paper and then somebody is standing next to us who looks at that and says nope it doesn't look like dog and that one who is standing next to us is also a part of ai who has been looking at dogs and has become aware what a dog is and how is that person or that ai system looking at do dogs and knowing it is dog so they have taught it either by directly training it to say this is a picture of a dog or trained it to go to the internet and look for the words dogs and cats and others and see the pictures and start to recognize what dogs and cats and things are so this little assessor would assess and say yeah it looks like it is paint on the sheet of paper but this is not really a dog so these guys all of us would scramble and we'll rearrange those pixels we have no idea what dog looks like we would just rearrange it and say what do you think now and the that thing would say well still not there maybe color looks like a dog now so then we rearrange it and we continue to do it thousands of times and millions and hundreds and thousands of times until the guy says well it looks like it's a dog and then we keep arranging more in a fine way and finally that little software says yes it is a dog and we then go back to our human uh, partners to say here is a dog this is one way there are many there i think there are four or five major ways that ai generates images another way that ai generates images is by diffusion and the diffusion is they take a picture of a dog for example let's say they they're given the picture of a dog and what they do is they add noise to it they start scattering its pixels they do gaussian blur on it for example and with each treatment the picture becomes blurry and they say well this this picture if we reverse that treatment will become a dog then they make it a little more blurred and then the the ai says well if i reverse it twice now it can become a dog and so it keeps making it noisy and noisy till it's nothing but this splatters of pixels and then ai knows that if i rearrange them it can become a dog so there are things like that that ai is learning so today i'm going to show you three ai systems one is called dali and that is a part of an open ai that is drawing images the other one is imagine actually i'll show you four then i'll show you mid journey and the disco diffusion so these are the four that i will go over now interestingly there are you could for example if i wanted to create a full video with ai i could do it i could go here let's say i want to first write a video although i don't do this because i'm not 
too fond of this. But here is a program. You could just Google AI-based writers. And here is a writer. It is called actually R-Y-T-R, writer. There is another very popular one called Jasper. So let's go to writer. And here we say we wanted to write about, let's say, nicotine. So we say nicotine is great <laughs> for health. All right. So that's our prompt for it. And we say, please write for me. And that's it. This AI now has taken my title, gone to internet, and now it is writing a new, so it is plagiarism proof. So it has not gone out and to just copy something. It actually has collected tons of data. It is now writing it. So here, nicotine, nicotine is a stimulant drug that people use to control the level of alertness, attention, and energy. Nicotine is also known to be a mood stabilizer and an appetite suppressant. Nicotine is not addictive and blah, blah, blah. So uh, if I had said 10 benefits or 10 disadvantages of nicotine, it would have then given me that. So one can write with it, with AI. Then you could produce voice. So there are AI-based voice generators. So you may have seen many videos nowadays which have this gargly sound on them because these are generated by voice generators, but the AI-based AI voice generators are becoming very, very good. For example, somebody had sent me a voice generator which can actually analyze an existing speaker's voice. For example, I asked it to analyze my voice it can even mimic the same accent. So it won't correct it that, okay, Dr. Mubin has this accent and I'm going to speak what he's saying, but in a different way. It can actually, for example, if I say here is in this video, please add a couple of sentences. It will add the sentences in my voice with my accent. And so many voice generators are out here. So you can just Google them. For example, Listener and Murph and Lovo and Speechello and so on. Then are these image generators. So let's go to some image generators and see how do they work. And just for tradition, this is drbean.com. Now this is Dal Dali. So Dali started with Dali and now it is Dali 2 and they, they are going further as well. One big deal with these image generators or art generators is that they take human language prompt. So you can talk to them and say, for example, here, you can talk to them and say an astronaut, an astronaut riding a ho horse in a photorealistic style. And the Dali comes back and makes these little images. And it gives you variation on these images and you can decide which one do you want and so on. So there has been a very interesting exercise, which was there was a prompt given to AI generator to say a horse riding an astronaut, an astronaut. A horse, somehow my video start doing this. So a horse riding an astronaut. And so it could not make it. It still made the same one. So people had to tweak the message to it to say a horse on the back of an astronaut. And then it looked like it is. So meaning these generators have a limit. And that limit is understanding. Just like we have a problem with communications many times where we are saying something and other one is not receiving the message. Or sometimes in the art creative, it is very common that you say that, hey, I want an illustration that looks like this and the artist comes back and it is totally different. That happens with the AI as well. AI has one more disadvantage at this time, and that is it is really not directable. For example, if it made this horse, it is not necessary that if you gave it the same prompt again, it will make the same horse again or the same picture again. So for example, if you went back and you said, an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style and it made this. If you came back and said the same thing and said wearing a blue shoe, it will not make the same thing with a blue shoe on it. It would just make an entirely different thing. So that direction is yet not there. I think that would happen. This gap between language 
its understanding and then its implementation is not 100%. Okay, so this is DALI. DALI is one of the very sophisticated image generator. So for example, here is an image, you can place things in it, you can remove things from it. Here is the girl with the pearl earring. And here, if you said, please make more pictures which are which look like it, then it can create this and so on. What I want to show you, this I love this one. This is Dali. The prompt is what they were, were saying to Dali was they said, a painting of a fox sitting in a field at sunrise in the style of Claude Monet. And this is what it painted. So I'm going to actually show you these paintings. I'll actually generate these paintings to you today. So this is Delhi. Then there is this Disco Diffusion by Google. It is a, such a beautiful program. And let me show you how well it, it takes time to generate an image. So I'm going to show you some images that people have uploaded. Disco Diffusion Images. These images, let me actually go to the site here. So if you see this, this image is actually produced by Disco Diffusion. Why do they call it Disco Diffusion? The Diffusion is the algorithm, the AI algo that produces the image. It produces by diffusion. The Disco is that it does many, just like with the chess programs that do a lot of iterations to see, has it become, remember it creates that noise and then keeps arranging the noise. So every step is called one disco step by Google. So they say, how many disco steps do you want? And the more steps you give the AI, the more refined image it will produce. So this is a disco diffusion image. And look at how it started. If I make it a little bigger, you would see that it started with this noise here and started polishing that noise till it became what it was asked for, what we asked for. So this is Disco Diffusion, beautiful, beautiful images it produces and very artistic. So for example, I think this is, look at the, the these are produced by Disco Diffusion. This is AI-generated artwork. And not only this, that it can generate this, you can tell it in what style to make it. So, for example, I was looking at some... Look at this. Just look at this image, how beautiful it is. And it is produced by Disco Diffusion. So... Disco Diffusion is another. And then there is an other that is called Imagine that is also by Google. So look at this. You tell this AI, you say, sprouts in the shape of text or a chrome-plated duck with a golden beak arguing with an angry turtle in a forest. And here is what it makes. They say, the Imagine team, and this is also Google, they say that this AI generator has the best language interpretation so far. And I tried it. What I did was I took some of these prompts and I gave it to the other AIs and they just fell flat. So here, for example, a dog looking curiously in the mirror, seeing a cat. So these are all actually made by the Imagine. And now the fourth one, is called mid journey mid mid journey and i'm going to show you how mid journey works i actually took subscription of it just to see this video's thumbnail is actually just created by mid journey during our talk so let's see so here is discord and here is how it produces images so let's give it an image to make. Let's say, imagine, so that is the order. Imagine, we are saying it to the AI. Imagine a cute dog. And let's say, 
pencil and watercolor sketch simple and illustrated my presenter so now this disc uh, mid journey if you see here it is saying waiting to start somewhere in the cloud a gpu cloud is present so look at this this is how it is starting it is starting with a bunch of noise and now this is 10% done what it is going to do is within this system as it keeps arranging the pixels the ai keeps telling they're talking with each other imagine a meeting occurring where the pixels are and a guy is saying well this doesn't look like a dog yet so here 56% and it has started looking like a dog 76% and you could actually open at various levels and see them so let's go back here 96% let's see 100% so this is the four variations it produced the subscription for this one is $10 a month in which you can make 200 images or $30 a month and you can make unlimited images. So here, which one do you like? Number one is the top left, two is on the top right, three is bottom left and four is bottom right. Do you like any of these or do you want me to change to another? What do you think? The point is what you can do. For example, top left. So Robin says top left. So the, that is the number one. So I can now tell this guy, this AI to say, can you please create variations of top left? So it would now use that as a reference to make more of that, but within that context or within that similarity. So here are a few more it is making. So this is what it made. Now tell me, and we can keep asking for more, but which one do you like now out of these four? Top left is one, top right is two, Bottom left is three, bottom right is four. Oh, I should ask it to make llama. Okay, top left. So top left, number one. So I'm going to take number one and I'm going to ask it to upscale it. That is to produce more texture in it. So I'm going to upscale one. And we'll make llama next. Now at the same time, if I go to... Um, let me show you some of the things I made this morning. So look, it is now 16% done. While it is making, let me show you what I've been making since yesterday. I was playing with it. So you can see some fail and some don't. But let me show you some images I made with this. So starting from here, I stole this prompt from someone that prompt was um, the sanctuary sanctuary of time and it made these then I got this prompt this is the stone of destruction yes skyfrog they were airships so I'm going to make airships in a second so here are the stones of destruction I like the top right one so I asked it to make variations of stone of destruction and it made these I liked none of them. <laughs> so I went back and I said, okay, upscale the top right. And this is the upscaled. Look at, this is the detailed texture it produced on this totally AI imagined uh, picture. Isn't this interesting? So while it is happening, and this is the dog. So let's go back here for a second. I made this. 
Then I tried this one. This was a total failure. This was my attempt in saying, make a little girl running in Chib Chibli studio, studio Chibli style. And it made this really not good one. Then I said, make SARS-CoV-2 with long legs standing on the people's you know, bodies. And it made this weird thing which didn't work either. This I stole from someone. This is actually a beautiful one. This was a prompt to make an underwater portal of magic where the fish have gathered around to see it. And it made these beautiful pictures. I, I couldn't imagine it could make that. And one of our team members is from UK. So this morning when I had the meeting with him, I said, look, Alex, his name is Alex. I said, I can make London. So I gave this prompt to the AI. I said, city of London in space among stars with lots of beautiful lights at the night time, realistic in the style of, uh, so I found a artist, Anato Finstack. So it made these. And Alex liked out of these ones, he liked the number three. So we created variations on that. Then he liked the number one and we created the upscaled version of number one. Check this out. This is actually, it was generated just in a few minutes. This is city of London in, in amongst the stars. So back here. So I kept making various things. Some failed. This is the same. Um, remember that Fox, the Van, Van Gogh style, although the Fox doesn't really look like a Fox, but this was the same prompt that was with the Dali. So Dali had this result. This is the Fox that Dali made. I gave the same prompt to Mid Journey and Mid Journey made this. So this is a fox at the sunrise, I believe, in a field in Van Gogh style. And I added dramatic light, so maybe that actually messed it up a little bit. <laughs> so now, then I was trying to make city Lahore. I was born in Lahore. So I said, make Lahore in a cyberpunk style <laughs> with flying ships. So it made these variations. I didn't like any of them, so I didn't pursue it further. And I then said another city and tried that. So then I have another team member. She loves to travel. So she thought that uh, Macho Picho or yeah, I think some name like that. So I drew for her Macho Picho. And look at this upscaled version of this was in the style of Monet as well. Check this out. So, and then as you see, I tried to make some SARS CoV 2s that failed. And now it is making this little thing. I made this uh, cartoon robot that worked very well the dogs we just made. So here it is. Now let's say there was a um, there was a prompt that was to make llama. So let's say, imagine cute llama um, illustration sketch. So I, I can do some, let's do this illustration sketch watercolor and pencil. I can do something else as well. So let's do this. Imagine and let's say snake skull hyper realistic dramatic light in a post apocalyptic dystopian era. So let's see what does it make. So it's, can it make a snake skull? And I saw some prompt here. So there was a prompt. <laughs> Alexander says I need to sleep. Okay, good night. Uh, so this skull is really not snake skull yet. Uh, 
Okay, so check this out. So it made these llamas. I like the number two and four. <laughs> this llama is just totally upside down, I guess. And how about the snake skull? This is the snake skull. And so my generations are not that good. So let me show you how people are generating. You would be amazed. So if I go to their Discord and I go to their... This is people generating as we speak. And look at the images they are generating. This is actually generated by AI. The prompt said, gray paper, full page scan of mid-century 1900 detailed concept art of steampunk ray gun weapon, Baroque style illustration, precise line art symmetry. And it made this. So Mid Journey uh, seems to be less beautiful in its work compared to what um, Disco Diffusion does. And Disco Diffusion is actually free, um, at least for one or two images that we make. It's actually, uh, so if I go to, I should have started Disco Diffusion. This is the last thing we'll do. Here is the Disco Diffusion. So Disco Diffusion has this link. Let me put this link here in the comment. It's actually a free access. So in here, what you do is you have to connect your Google Drive so it can put the images there. And once you've done, the, there is no, not much settings. There is a prompt. Let me do this. View collapse sections. In the settings section, there is a prompt as well. So here you say in the prompts, what do you want to draw? So they have already filled this a beautiful, uh, what is this? A beautiful something. So if I run this, it would take some time, but it will make better art. So let me show you some of the art Disco Diffusion made this morning. So this is one of the, check this out. This was one of the art piece it made. I was making this this morning for our, this, this is Disco Diffusion. <laughs> Although you can see that the, the lighthouses are not the most straight and architecturally correct and so on. But from a, from an art point of view, it looks beautiful. Composition is not there, lighting, one can take this as an idea and further build on it. This was another variation it produced of the same prompt. So I love this one, but it seemed so oddly placed right in the center. Then this was another variation it produced. It was interesting, but again, composition was not the best, but the artwork is beautiful. Then I tried to ask it to make SARS-CoV-2 attacking a cell. <laughs> this is what it made. I have no idea where the SARS-CoV-2 is and where the cell is, but this is according to the AI, SARS-CoV-2 attacking a cell. Skyfrog says disco, disco diffusion. <laughs> so then I tried to make it even more simple and I said, just make a sketch of SARS-CoV-2. And this is what it made. <laughs> so that's not nice. Uh, then I said, so I was trying to make SARS-CoV-2 uh, with the swords in its hand and killing cells. So I said, make a ninja and it made a ninja. So I tried to said, okay, make a fat ninja so that I can say this is a virus. So I said, make a ninja, fat, spherical ninja with katana in its hands with the, with the cherry blossoms on the floor. And it actually made this weird thing. So you can see that it, the AIs are not very directable. This was the same prompt that you saw in Imagination. This prompt was a, a chrome-plated duck with a golden beak talking with an angry turtle in the forest. And so you can see that this just is all over the place. 
So that is disco diffusion. These are the AI things that do the drawings. So let's make flying ships. So if I go to, let's do that as a last thing for today. If I go to, I'm sure we did some neurogenesis. Go in here, go to this guy. Um, I, I really like this llama. We should make more of this guy. Okay. Now, I think I should make a llama thumbnail and put that in the llama video. This, this is a cute llama too, number four. Okay, let's see flying ships. Um, so let's say New York. So imagine, imagine New York skyline with flying ships. Um, with flying ships and and fireworks. So celebration. Somewhere in the future, people are flying on the ships instead of the the planes um, and fireworks, celebrating New Year. And then you can tell it what style to make it in. So uh, let's see what does it do with this. So we'll see. Do you have a llama pajamas? Oh, that's a nice one. Let me ask him. Let's say, imagine a cute llama wearing pajamas. Illustration, simple, pencil, and watercolor. Let's see, what does it make? The tiger says, be quiet, man, you're going to become blocked. Okay, blocked. How about Luffy flying in, in space? That's a nice one. So I don't even know if it, it's probably going to pick up Luffy from that uh, Japanese uh, manga. So let's say, imagine Luffy flying in space. Okay, so let's see this prompt. So this mid journey is not the best in drawing. So this was a cute llama wearing pajamas illustration. So actually, do you see this one? The number three, it is actually wearing pajamas. <laughs> that is so funny. How about number four? The number four looks like it is wearing some things too. Number one is just cute pajama uh, llama. How is how is the New York City doing? So this one was cute llama wearing pajamas illustration, simple pencil and watercolor. All right. So how about this guy? This is totally off. This was supposed to be New York skyline with the flying ships. That's oh, so this is actually sorry, Luffy flying. Where is Luffy in this? So do you see Luffy anywhere? So mid journey is not the best. This is the New York. So if I go in here, this is New York with the flying ships. It actually made the little ships flying in the air and some fireworks, not the best. This also is dependent upon how you set it. This just tells me that I'm not a great art director, although this one looks nice. So, what else should we do? So that's an interesting one. So Ramnik says Luffy looks like Garfield. Yes. So it was just, where is it? So this is the artwork for today. 
did you like it so there are four imagine is not yet open i think they're going to commercialize it imagine is based on 450 million images internally trained uh, so i'm sure that and the best um, language what is that best language translation as well interpretation so i'm sure they're going to sell that the others mid journey is the cheapest 10 dollars a month for 200 images but you saw that image quality can really depend upon how you are saying and what you're saying uh discord discord by google is absolutely beautiful to make artwork but it takes time so it takes about 10 15 minutes depends how many variations you want how much detail you want it can take even an hour that's why i did not produce too many of those and the um dali there's a lot of hype about dali i don't know how well it would do but they say it does very well so vanishing vanilla bean says really needed the artwork today thanks for the diversion you're very welcome linda says this looks so much fun so yes and please try them enjoy them M. Gregory says, do you watch Love Death Robots on Netflix? AI is so realistic. No, but I would check it out. Skyfrog says, very. <laughs> Doug says, I thought this was drawing instruction. That is a drawing instruction. In the future, what we will learn is how to imagine with the AI so AI can draw it better instead of we directly drawing it. I think our brain functions are going to change with the presence of AI. This also tells you that as we keep saying that AI is going to take over the world and cause problems, here is AI in a very rudimentary area. So it needs a long way to go. <laughs> John says, I see a flying ivermectin tablet. We should do that. We should make a flying uh, ivermectin man. So this is the discussion. We'll meet each other tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it and I didn't waste your time, but I thought this was interesting. So we will see each other tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.